I found out that there are various reasons for discouragement. And I want to talk about four reasons now, and they all start with an F. The first reason that we get discouraged is we get fatigued. We get tired. We're fatigued. I notice that any time I get in contention with my wife, can I be honest this morning, it's because I'm tired. It's not because she did something or said something. It's because I'm tired. And so anytime I get upset, I think, okay, why am I upset? You're tired. Go get some rest. It's fatigue. Fatigue. Any person that's worn out, weary, down, cast, is a person that's not full of rest and is a person who's living on the edge. He's about to explode and go off on somebody. Fatigue is a reason for discouragement. I've been doing this too long. I've been waiting too long. I've been standing on the promises too long. Don't you know I'm 33 years old and I'm still unmarried? It must be God wants me to be single. Don't you know I've been waiting for the healing to take place in my grandson for seven years? It must be that God just doesn't want to heal him. And there are denominations that come to that conclusion. That God doesn't want to heal you anymore. Why didn't he get healed? Well, see, it has to be God don't want to heal you, right? No. Discouraging. I wanted to get in that college, but they didn't let me in. Discouraging. Number two, we got fatigue is number one. Number two reason for discouragement is frustration. I'm frustrated. Everything I put my hands to don't seem to work. Things are not coming together. Things are not happening. Uh, I, I keep getting more and more work. I keep getting more and more things on me. Uh, uh, it doesn't look like anything is working out. And we get frustrated. And that can cause discouragement. Number three is failure. Somebody say failure. Failure can cause discouragement. I did not complete that like I thought I could or even should. I was not as good as I thought I was. I, 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 it did not happen the way I thought it would happen. I messed up. I dropped the ball. I went on this interview and they didn't give me the job. It must be because I didn't perform on this interview. Failure is a reason for discouragement. Number four, reason for discouragement is fear. Fear. What is the fear that we have that God's promises will not come to pass? So we're discouraged. We're fearful that God's promises won't happen. What's taking so long? It must be that it ain't going to happen. So we fear the promises of God that they will not come to pass or we get impatient. We get impatient. And most of us, pastor included, gets impatient. We're impatient. Well, my goodness, I've been standing for four hours. And I can't believe that it, this ain't happened yet. We get impatient, and then we get discouraged. And then when we're discouraged, there is an invisible barrier between us and God. And that's why it's so hard that when we come to church and the band is rocking, and understand that the band has to fight discouragement too. So they got to get up here and put a smile on their face. Who knows what they were going through all week long? and get up here and play music and clap and sing and smile and say, come on, y'all. And y'all standing around with your hands in your pocket looking at them like they are dead. <laughs> and you can care less about what they saying and what they doing. That's why you see some band members with their eyes closed. Because <laughs> they can't look at you. <laughs> because you are stealing their joy. Jesus. Sapping them of energy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to get on you today discouraged why that brother got his eyes closed because he don't want to look at you <laughs> looking at him like you don't care we all battle discouragement and there's a barrier that's placed and we ultimately blame God if we go down that path the path leads to God didn't do this God didn't do that. 